Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? And welcome back to a new episode of Genshin Impact here at Game Life. And right now, we're going to be talking about Big Daddy Z or Zong Lee, which is coming up. And what is better, actually? Like, um, we already have Child, pretty much. We've already uh, explored the ins and out of this character. He has been game changing in the fact that he has a different playstyle in terms that we can need to shift stances between range and melee attacks. But right now, let's go to Zong Lee. And which is how is he gonna affect the player landscape of the game? And uh, right now, what he's gonna be doing is um, let's take a look at some of his gameplay for the moment. And obviously, like Zhong Li uses uh, his Jade Shield, which is definitely a hold version of his E or his elemental skill. And definitely, his pole arm attacks are very, very fast, pretty much in kin with. Uh, Shan Ling and uh, he, because since Shan Ling is the only other polar arm user in the game it's the only thing we can compare from in terms of speed and number of strikes and um, in this term again we can also see that he is using uh, the new spear the one that actually adds 24 damage uh, every time there is an your enemy is affected by a certain from. element we didn't keep moving, so right now well, let's go Literally. to uh, how game changing really is Zhongli so pretty much like you know the child has been game changing, but Zhongli, how is he gonna change the meta of the game? AKA the introduction of how much shields are gonna be really, really important in the game in terms of having that survivability and that difference between him and child is basically child is the you know, dodge stance change, poke some arrows, do some me melee and uh, set up your your ultimate attack. But in terms of Zhongli, Zhongli is pretty much like the, you know, I have a shield, I'm gonna get in here, and I'm gonna do what I need to do, which is do a lot of physical damage. So definitely Zhongli might might be vying to be one of the best physical damage characters in the game. So right now, let's go here in, um, no, that, that's not. So let's go here and let's discuss all about his uh, first. Let's, what are the best weapons for Zhongli? Definitely the Primordial Jade Spear increases attack by 2.2. I won't read this anymore. Definitely the best 5 star artifact, I mean, the best 5 star weapon in the game right now. It's prim, uh, Primordial Jade Spear, which is anyway from Gacha. Next one, this one is going to be used for pretty much like uh, the more of the crit build Zhongli, the one that's going to be doing a lot of physical damage. But this, not everybody has this, so same goes with. Uh, this is the spear that the uh, Kuru's Iris Red, which is actually the same spear that he was using. And uh, definitely this is, might be the next uh, spear item that will be out in uh, the weapon banner, maybe. Because they usually tailor fit the weapon banner towards who, the character who is already out at the moment. Like how Skyward, uh, Skyward Harp is for your child. And obviously the, the Skyward Spine, which is, gives you a lot of energy recharge. Which is actually is pretty, pretty much dead. like the spammer, the spammer I mean, builds in his planet ball ability, which is his ultimate ability or uh, his elemental burst, is actually gonna be doing a lot of damage in terms that it is only costing you 40, 40 energy and about 12 seconds cooldown. So pretty much all all five stars are think is gonna pretty work well with Zhongli. But let's go on to the craftable. <clears throat> the Craftables, which is the Crescent Pike, which I think is also really, really cool because the Crescent Pike is pretty much pretty much broken. Everybody knows that, especially if you've been using Shan Ling with that Crescent Pike. Um, all of Where those I'm extra from. attacks will come in handy moving, and not to mention to that it has Literally. physical bonus damage as its primary stat. And the other Craftable, which is the Prototype Grudge, which is uh, here. Um, another energy recharge item. Definitely, it is also... Uh, using a level of skill is going to also increase his damage, but also it is also another item that can be used to spam his ultimate. Another one is your BP weapon or your battle pass weapon, which is a deathmatch, which also increases crit rate. Definitely another weapon that can actually be pretty interesting on Zombie. So pretty much, moving, I think those are the pretty much uh, you know the more. Uh, the more effective weapons that I think for Zhongli is, and let's go to Zhongli himself. Like uh, we're gonna go to Zhongli himself. He's a you know like if we're gonna check out his uh, his stats, his main stat is after the Geo bonus damage. That when you turn at level 80, 
that will be around uh, plus 28 bonus geo bonus damage, which is actually a lot. So here are the uh, items that you'll be needing to to prepare for. The only definitely there is slime, slime and slime and more slime. And definitely, I think you guys, a lot of you guys already have that. And definitely, the things that you really need to prepare for are definitely all these topaz crystals that you need to farm for the geo cube and obviously the core lapis that comes with it i mean the the this this piece of amber that comes with it definitely farming the geo boss and getting all that core lapis all sorted out needs to be done if you are planning to draw for example Lee. and that's another aside from that let's, we're not talking about like uh, his percentages when he's the tap definitely the the are up to. at level Flooding six let's say level six is 44 scale, no 45 40 56 52 uh that's around 14, 15 and 79 and 161. Oh man. So pretty much he, it's very, very fast attacks. Therefore, if you're going to look at it, it's, uh, multipliers and multipliers are very low in scaling. But what's really interesting is about this, this elemental skill, the one that acts as a seal, the one that actually summons the tower thing or the Sealy, the Stele, sorry, which actually comes from the ground and it deals constant geo damage to everything around it and also all the other geo structures. So that means all the geo structures around him, including the ones from the Traveler, Ningguang's uh, Jade, uh, from? Jade Curtain thingy, that all of will Literally. actually emit some kind of geo pulse, which is actually going to be the one that's going to be dealing constant geo damage around the around the fighting uh, terrain. Another one is when you hold it, it, it makes it explode, and all of the geo structures around him definitely will explode and deal geo damage around yeah, while giving him the jade shield another one of which makes Zhongli another one of the most survivable DPSs in the game currently so definitely when he comes he will be hard to kill and he will just be there he's gonna be dealing a lot of physical damage but one of the things that I actually like to look at is definitely planet fall which is the one that deals petrification pretty much it is like um, like freeze and it will deal uh, when an enemy is petrified it will have uh, additional bonus damage from physical attacks and geo attacks so definitely something that you need to consider that's why physical attack uh, Zhongli is another character that you might want to build or the geo bonus damage Zhongli that actually will uh, focus a lot on uh, planet before so these are the things that because this is just so mad having his energy cost at 40 definitely this thing will be up all the time and we're going to be talking around a three seconds of petrification and that is a constellation zero so definitely all of these things are going to come into play when you're using zongli and obviously you need to be preparing also for the talent materials which is actually like the ones here this is uh, actually uh teachings of gold and all of this will actually be done a uh, good thing it's already another slimes again and down. more slime and more slime and definitely all of his uh his uh what do you call this rng boss drop will be from child and but the only thing that i don't like personally about zongli is this uh 15 refund of ore that comes into a, a pole arm type weapon because definitely for a five star this is something that i don't feel that is you know like something that befits a person of his stature since he is a god and anyway here is another one of his talents uh, when J shield takes damage it will fortify and uh, have increased uh, what do you call it 45 characters of a 5% increased shield strength can stop up to five times with the jail shield disappear and definitely this one is the most craziest because it's gonna Planet Befall will deal additional damage equal to 33% of Zhongli's max HP. So if we're talking about like most characters pretty much at level 80 will have um, HP of let's say around 20,000. So let's say you can just do the math. And and all of these other constellations definitely just increase his, um, his survivability. Let's go with constellation 1. Increases the maximum number of stone stellies by uh, to 2. So definitely two stone cells are, are going to be there, which dead. always puts which a lot I mean, of geo damage on the, on the terrain. Another one that we could talk about this is because all of this explode when you hold his E or his skill button. Next one is the Cradle of Jade. 
Land of the Fall grants a nearby enemy characters a field of a jade shield when it descends, which is actually quite okay. It's pretty much like a, a nice, um, what do you call it, support, uh, support skill. And definitely this is a power up and his next constellation just powers up by three. And constellation four, Topaz the Unbreakable Fearless, moving, and increases Planet Befall's AOE by 20%, increases the effective duration of Planet Befall's Petrification by two. So definitely at level 80, you're going to have uh, about 5.2 seconds of Petrify. That is long in terms of gameplay standards. Good enough for you to deal so much damage, increase, increase geo damage and physical damage on um, that part. So definitely if, you have, if you're planning to actually go in the long way with Zhongli, meaning like C4 or C6, that, that shit is just crazy. Next one is another, the plan to fall increased by 3, pretty much another power up, just increasing his stuff. And his C6, when Jade Shield become, takes damage of 40% of the damage becomes dead. converted as HP I mean, there's to the current to character. So that means the shield is transferable to different characters in your party. And uh, a single instance of the regeneration cannot be exceed 8% of the character's max HP. So definitely, uh, that means um, even if you, if you take so much damage, giant damage, you cannot only exceed 8% of the well, character that is getting healed. But still, I think Zhongli will be awesome with any other any constellation that he will be. And what who, who uh, which characters are nice to pair with Zhongli? Definitely, uh, if we're going to be talking about characters that we can actually pair with Zhongli. Um, there are some nice compositions. Definitely, I think a double geo would definitely work. Uh, work with him, and uh, if you're gonna be like uh, thinking about like uh, let's say elemental resonance, elemental resonance. Obviously, the double geo is enduring rock increases resistance to interruption. That means he cannot be stunned while you're doing stuff, and while protected by a shield, increase attack damage by 15. Which definitely pairing him with another geo character like Noel or Ningguang will actually give him more uh, more ability to actually have that shield up. Pretty much shield up time will be something of, uh, you know, a lot more rather than just like, um, since uh, Noel can create her own shield, uh, Ningguang definitely creates a lot of crystals because of her range attack. And definitely Zhongli himself has his jade shield. That is already 15%. So 15% and let's talk about the Archaic Petra set which you can actually put on Ningguang and definitely the Retracing Bolide that you can actually put on Dong Li. So pretty much uh, like um, good characters that we can pair with him is definitely a uh, Superconductor team which actually can be Official and Diona which is also crazy or a more like a buffing team. So pretty much we could also have like Zhong Li, uh, Ningguang, Mona and Bennett which would actually be a crazy buff team. And definitely, uh, you know, like, uh, but for me personally, I will uh, prefer the Superconductor team because that just decreases the enemy uh, defense by 50% and that will give Dongli enough time to actually uh, attack the enemy and deal more physical damage in the long run. And uh, another thing that I'd like to talk about is definitely the sets of equipment that, I mean sets of artifacts that you can put on Zhongli. Definitely the Archaic Petra and uh, the Archaic Petra should be on his support and definitely uh, Retracing Bolide will be on Zhongli. But you can also opt for half Bloodstain which is going to be increasing his, uh, his physical damage by 25% and half uh, Retracing Bolide to increase your shield uh, efficiency so pretty much that's all I think and I think Zhongli is gonna be like this tank character that he cannot just kill easily off the screen and with everything and all the support and including the power of his kit will be somewhat of a game changing because he's pretty much like a, the first five star where shields will definitely be uh, uh, the shield mechanic especially with the retracing bolide and obviously the uh, Archaic Petra is gonna be uh, using as a cornerstone so definitely I think it's gonna be changing the entire meta of the game anyway aside from that if you have questions if you have anything you have comments about it please do put it on the comment section down below but uh, in terms of which is better child or zombie I do think that um, they are just two different characters in terms of how you're gonna use them so you're they're really incomparable so anyway, I think that's it, and um, 
if you like the content about how it, you're gonna how it helps you definitely i do think that uh, you know just give us a like just give us a subscribe and hopefully with that all being said and we will see you in the next you know, one there thank are you better for ways watching to seek out our enemies than well standing here yeah right child <laughs>